any deliverance that we talk about regarding Christians is not about your position changing before God. You were transferred from darkness into light. You were set and settled in Christ. A Christian's deliverance is solely about deprogramming our minds from lies. Lies that we've picked up over the years. Lies that we picked up often no fault of our own. But it's about deprogramming our minds from those lies and reprogramming our minds with God's truths. And that's a process that includes accepting the gospel message, applying the gospel message to all areas of our life. It's the process of what Paul spoke of in Romans 12 too, that God changes you into a new person by changing the way you think. God changes you. That's what Paul said. God changes you. Yes, there's an effort on our part. Change the way you think. Grace doesn't mean no effort. It means no earning. There is an effort. For example, if you want to be delivered from anger, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the roots of anger and frustration. What are the lies that you've picked up that are influencing those? There are some moments in my life when it seems like I can go from zero to hundred in frustration and uh, if something doesn't go right. And every time it happens, I end up realizing it's the result of bad beliefs. I get impatient when I believe that if things don't happen in the right timing, that I'm going to miss out. Well, renewing my mind to the truth of Psalm 37 23 helps with that. The steps of the godly are ordered by the Lord. I'm not going to miss out. God's going to get me where he wants me in the right timing. That's what I have to believe. I grow easily frustrated when I fear that delays and disappointments will cost me. And that's a scarcity mindset, a belief that supply is limited. Well, renewing my mind to Philippians 4.19 helps with that. God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. He's not running out, so I'm not going to run out. i got to get that belief in me, and that helps with the stress. I've realized that as I attack these root lies with ultimate truth, over time I naturally begin to be delivered from those things like anger and stress and frustration not always perfect in it, but it has less of a hold on me. That's because God's power is put into work in my life and it does the work of changing me in the natural to who God says I am in the spirit. Are you with me here? If there's something you keep coming back to, a vice, an addiction, whatever, take inventory of your life. I mean, you just might need to sit down with God with a notebook and say, okay, Holy Spirit, I don't want to do this anymore. What are the lies I have picked up that are at the root of this thing? And often there are many lies. It's like peeling an onion. You might be peeling that onion for years, if not your whole life. Just be sure you do this inventory thing with no condemnation for yourself. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. God knows you're human, which means he knows that you're imperfect in your flesh. That's why he sent Jesus to save you, because you couldn't do it on your own. You needed rescuing. And the devil is known for being a deceiver because of how sneaky he is. So if you've picked up lies along the way, whether it's from deception or whatever, don't shame yourself. Just when you recognize the lies, when the Holy Spirit brings them up, and He will, just apply the truths of God's Word to them. Apply the message of the cross. Apply the gospel which says who you are and what you have in Christ. As you do, the power of the Deliverer will work in you to change you from the inside out. And that means the burden of change is off of you and on God right where He always wanted it.
practically speaking, this is why I'm so big on scripture meditation, which is thinking and speaking God's word. Speaking God's word gets truth out of you and into you because you say it and you hear it. You kind of control the process. You can't always have a preacher preaching the message to you, but you can preach the message to yourself. You can say it and hear it yourself. And that helps your brain and body begin to identify with the truth. I talk about how all of that works, the mind and mouth connection, in my Win With Words series. But by intentionally thinking and speaking God's Word, you are literally teaching your mind what to think. You're programming it. So that in time, you more naturally think correctly when certain situations arise, when certain temptations come, when those things that would usually spark anger, oh, doesn't think that way anymore. That helps you act and react correctly. That's a process of deliverance. In my final thought, I'm gonna reveal something huge that I recently learned in physical therapy that will show you how the power of this works in your life. Some of you know that I was battling horrible, bad back pain for four months that just would not go away with any amount of rest. But I was delivered of it, ultimately through this same process that I've been describing to you. So stay with me to hear my story and how it applies to your deliverance. But while I'm on the topic of how important your mind and mouth are in deliverance, I just got to share with you how I can help you with your mind and your mouth beyond this message, okay? My new audio teaching series just came out. It's called Win With Words, How to Make Your Mouth Work For You, Not Against You. The four messages are the mind and mouth connection, you are what you speak, curse words, and three words that repel the devil. You can get the Win With Words series instantly on four MP3s or have the four CD set shipped to you. You can order it at kylewinkler.org slash winwithwords. Okay, final thought. Back to the verse that we began this whole message with, Psalm 68, 20. God is to us a God of deliverance says. Again, through Christ, he delivered us from darkness and into light. That's location. Through Christ, he delivered us from the consequence of sin. Through Christ, he delivered us from the burden of the law. That's spiritual deliverance. And in Christ, the same gospel message can be applied to our minds to deliver us of some of our physical and emotional issues too. That happens through the process of renewing the mind, which is a process, as I said earlier, of teaching our minds the truth so that in time they naturally begin to think according to truth without any effort. I recently learned this power in physical therapy, of all things, as I was trying to get delivered of some bad back pain. You see, because of something I started to do unconsciously, and my doctor, we really don't know what it was. Sometimes you just pick up things that are of no fault of your own. There's a message right there. But whatever it was, Certain muscles in my back began to overcompensate to protect my spine. And that led to constant muscle spasms and inflammation that touched on a nerve which sent pain to areas even beyond my back. When I worked with a physical therapist, he prescribed a series of exercises where I would intentionally tighten my core front and back a couple seconds before I'd lift my legs. I'd lay down and tighten and then lift and then go back down and untighten my core a couple seconds after. And there are various lifts I'd do, but it was all the same. Tighten, lift, put down, release. Within just a few weeks of these intentional exercises, I asked him, you know, what's going on here? He said it's training your brain to activate the correct muscles, the core, before common movements in your everyday life like lifting or picking something up or even just getting out of bed. 
So when my brain was trained by intentionally thinking, tighten, lift, down, untighten, My brain got trained, which then corrected my movements naturally, which delivered me of the pain. My mind was renewed. This is the principle at the root of our deliverance of our other issues too. And it is the practical application of 2 Corinthians 10.5, which says that we capture rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. As you begin to intentionally think and speak truth, your brain gets reprogrammed so that you act and react correctly and that works itself out in so many positive ways. Just know that as you do this, it is a process. In my physical process, I wasn't healed overnight and there were times when it seemed worse than when I started. But as I did it, something was at work in me which worked it out. This is why in any deliverance process, whatever you're going through, whatever you feel, whatever you face, the ultimate burden is off of you and onto the grace of God. As you apply His truth, that's your part. He does the change in His way and in His time.